I mean, actually look at this. Like, look how clean this is. That's how you know this is new. Whoa. Wow, these burns are sick. I got this one too. Woo. Drop. Okay. Roll it. Oh, I'm in their lane. I'm sorry. Check out the local green trails. They might shock you. I think some of these trails have been around for a little bit, but with recent like sanctioned work, they're like actually open open. The trek at Tahale joins the roster of trail systems in Washington state. This is the perfect spot for lunch rides, after work fitness laps, family gatherings, and low consequence fun, making it a solid spot for those more chill rides. Something that's super cool about this park is look, on each sign it says the difficulty easier, one way downhill, but then it also says beginner flow trail, berms and rollers, basic skills required, ride at your own risk. They put characteristics about the trail so you know if it's like a green jump trail or a flow trail, tech trail, things like that. So starting off the day is rhythm and berms. This is a green flow trail. And to be honest, it's one of the best green trails I've ever ridden. Wow. Okay, green trail, but you could have a ton of fun on it. Whoa. You. Oh my gosh. Look at this sweeping burn. Nice. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Sick green trail. Literally like a green trail built for everybody. Rhythm and burns. Let's just keep going. Do the whole thing. Yeah, if you're like a more skilled rider than I am, you could jump all this stuff. This is so good. I could spend a ton of time just practicing my own. Whoa, look at that hip. What? Practicing my own technique on here. Cause I'm trying to get better at corners, like breaking early, letting off, leaning, good body position, engage the side knobs. Yo, that was pretty sick. Next on the agenda is the Madrona Loop. Listed as a green cross country trail and named appropriately. This loop actually circles the entire trail system and it's what you will use to climb up after almost every okay, single trail. You will ride this a lot, like a lot, a lot. It's been a really peaceful loop, to be honest. Yo, this trail actually rips. Look at that. The Madrona loop is like what we're using to climb in. Climb a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna head back up here and hopefully this will take me right, right back maybe to the top of Rhythm and Berm so we can do a couple, couple more trails. So some of this pollen coming down looks like, like light snow. It's kind of majestic. So if you come to Tahale, you will be pedaling a good amount. Um, so I'm super stoked that they like officially allow e-bikes. The middle of the park hosts a small zone dedicated to a high quality skills area. This looks like a berm to practice cornering. I was just talking about how I want to practice technique. All right, I want to come with some speed, lean the bike. Oh yeah, nice. Rolly, rolly guacamole. Looks like some rollers. Nice rollers. Wing, wing ding. Looks like a jump. Wonder if there's more. Woo! Oh, one jump. Okay, cool. Jam session. Oh yeah, multiple jumps right here. Whoa, these are super lippy. Yeah, I brake checked all of those, sick. Nice, one, two, three, four, four drops. Yeah, that's the whole point of the skills area is just progression. Cool. Cool. The progression doesn't stop there. Bacon Pancakes and TV Party are the two proper jump lines at the park. Bacon Pancakes is listed as a blue with all tables while TV Party is rated black since it does have gaps. As fun as these two trails are, there isn't an easy way to lap them. I found myself going all the way back around to the Madrona Loop, going up False Flat, 
past the skills area, and onto Rhythm and Berms before I got back to the start of Bacon Pancakes and TV Party. Okay, Rhythm and Berms until the left side. Got that a little bit better. Okay, now we're back. Man, it took a long time to get back to here. All right, Bacon Pancakes, Blue Jump Trail. You! Yeah, okay, we're clearing them more now. Step up! Ah, get it! <laughs> Barely got it. You! Yeah! You! Case that one. This one's lippy. <laughs> it's so fun to step up and just like float over it. All right, TV, TV party. Yep, smooth. Woo! You! Oh, I got this one too. You! I got this one too. Woo! You! You! Wow, okay, I just did way more than I ever thought I was going to do. <laughs> they just kind of worked. All right, I went slow around that berm, so that's a good jump. Look at these berms, holy Toledo. Yeah, that's so good. Nice. Man, cool. I think this might actually be in my wheelhouse, but I just want to be safe. What is this? Oh, just a huge step down sender. Into a roller to get speed. So I'm not going to do it, but this is uh, the double black one. That's so good. That's a huge size. Holy moly. But yeah, I'm proud of myself. That's uh, kudos to the trail builders for making a jump trail that someone like me who's not super comfortable on jumps is able to really enjoy. I, I assume if you're into jumping, you would probably love that trail. Um, and same with bacon pancakes. So, But me, I love tech. So we're going to head back down this way. Skills area is right over there. We're going to head down here until heavy nettle. Okay, heavy nettle. Heavy nettle. Intermediate cross-country trail, no mandatory features, basic skills required. This forest is so pretty. Like actually with like the pollen on the ground, it's like, it, I don't know, it just feels super cool. I feel like I'm gonna see an animal. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that little root smash. Wow, okay, cool. Wait, don't sleep on heavy metal, what? Oh, now cross country. Okay, so now we go uphill. Oh, go! Go! Oh my gosh, I didn't even clean it. <laughs> okay, Corbin, you know how to ride a bike. Let's go. My cross country people put me to shame right now. Nice little pocket there. Look, it's look ahead. Smash these roots. Okay. Birds, watch out! Right over this one too. Yo! Look at these roots. My word. Slippery slopes. Advanced tech trail, mandatory drops, primitive trail surface, ride at your own risk. Slippery slopes was one of my favorite trails here. I'm a tech fan and this one features some off camber bench cut, a couple drops and a few steeper sections. Again, I just wish there was an easier way to lap this trail instead of going all the way back around the park. Okay, first tech trail. Whoa, tight corner. Oh, cool, look at this. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I tried to like gap it. I drop. Okay. All right. Whoa, cool. Drop. Okay. Wait, that's cool. You. Oh. Nice. 
Wait, slippery slopes. That was fun. Holy. I wish I could just lap it real like easier though. I gotta go so far to get back to slippery slopes and I just want to do that trail like three, four times in a row. All right, we're headed to the other side of the mountain where I think there's gonna be a little bit more tech trails. Hopefully some I can um, lap. Like there, I think there's a climbing trail over here. So we're just gonna book it down this until cross cut. Look, then full cross cut. Oh, it's down here, down here, down here, down here. I think it's down here. Got it. I think it's right here. Yep, cross cut, perfect. This is what we want. Okay, also on the sides, there's like a lot of pokey, <laughs> like pokey bushes. So even though it's it's hot and sunny, I like wear long pants and maybe a long sleeve. Okay, climb trail, climbing trail, let's go. I love me a climbing trail to session tech trails. Like Fast and the Curious. Oh, is this a slalom, dual slalom? What? I didn't know they had a dual slalom. I have no friends, where are my friends? You're probably working, it's Monday. I have a Monday off, but I wish you were here so we could slalom, slalom. Dual slalom, fast and the curious. Let's go, let's go wide. Oh, that's like no support and <laughs> dry. What do we got here? Roll it. Oh, I'm in their lane. I'm sorry. What? Oh, look at this one. Whoa. That was supportive. Wow. What? Rollers. Okay. Oh, ow. I'm saying ow like I feel my bike. Okay, fast in the curious. Dual slalom, take two, inside line. Pocket, zipped up. Let's go, let's go. Come on, let's get in those pedals. Corner well. This is for all the marbles. Come on, look at this corner, look at this supportive corner. Break before, oh bad. Nice. Oh yeah, we're feeling it. Oh, <laughs> I should try to triple. Let's get it. Yeah. Smoother. Step up. Nope. Manual. A little bit. Come on, pedal. Okay. Better. Maybe we can better endo turn things out. Okay. How we doing? You guys enjoying the video? If so, like, that's trash. Be okay, next trail. Growing up, and still to this day, I love a good PB and J sandwich. Whoa, tight entrance. Wow, okay. Bug in my mouth. Okay, very primitive. Primitive. Yeah, pretty, it's like a little loamer. Oh. A little hop, hop, skip, and a jump. Hey, B and J. Oh, Ooh, catch burn there. Cool. Okay. P B and J. Okay, resto mod, intermediate tech trail. Let's get it. Nice, got some root smashing. Oh, root smashing. Whoa. <laughs> Buddy. You're crazy. Which, whoa. Okay, multiple line options. So I like to see. Yo. Wait, that was cool. Multiple line options? That was pretty fun. Oh, 
Is that another one? That might be the, the last black tech trail. Um, okay, so after much traversing in the Madrona Loop, we have come across a black tech trail. Awesome and radical journeys. Let's see what this one's all about. One of the few uh, black trails out here. Oh, cool. See? Nice. Whoa! It was like a step up. A little bench cut. That was cool. Oh, what? I feel like this is something. Maybe I should check it out first. Before I just like... This is like a jump to nowhere. Oh, it's just kind of a roll. Kind of a drop. Okay. Whoa, that was a bottom bracket hitter for sure. I probably should have just dropped it. I kind of tried to roll it. Ah, that's cool. Oh, we're speeding on the bench cut. Big berm. Lean the bike, Corbin. Whoa. It's, it was pretty off camera, it like funnels you. Whoa, lean the bike, Corbin. Look where you wanted to go. The show kind of funnels you like off the trail. <laughs> oh, that's pretty fun. You just gotta watch out for the like off camber bits. And make sure you got better body position than I do. Zoom. Zoom. Mud? Oh I think I remember this. Oh man. I think I gotta go like off the way. All the way back around to do that trail again. Wait, it says there's a ridge racetrack. Oh, maybe that's this. Okay, we're here. The ridge racetrack, huh? Whoa! Roots! Whoa! Ridge! Ridge line. It's, what's weird is the sign is that it's like not part of the system. But Trail Forks says this is like an actual trail. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Oh my god, a spider web on my nose. Holy crap. That was itchy. Oh my gosh, pokey. Pokey's everywhere. Pretty uh peaceful little trail. I don't know what I like how I just okay characterize it, categorize it. It's kind of just like a, it's almost like a campground trail, like what you'd find in a campground if you were biking. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, we made it back up to the bathrooms and the parking lot and my car, uh, but that'll do it for Tahale Trails. Um, really cool trail network. The big standouts to me were Slippery Slope, Slippery Slopes, the black tech trail i really liked that one and then also the green flow trail rhythm and berms uh, those are probably my two favorites and then at the skills area i really appreciated that like one little berm banana slug um you don't really see that a lot where just one corner that you can really practice technique like i just envision someone coming out here for like a coaching session um, and they can really use that just to practice cornering um that was kind of yeah that was a standout to me so uh, the only thing like complaint I would have is it was really hard to lap a lot of the trails like session them down at the uh, PB and J and dual slalom course there was missing link that climb trail which was super nice to be able to do those a lot like have a lot of repetitions from there but everything else felt like I just had to get on the Madrona loop and go all the way back around the park to like do the trail again so I wish there was something like missing link maybe two more climb trails um, so I so we don't have to do all of Madrona loop uh, back to keep sessioning the trail so that'd be the only thing I say but really fun trail network definitely a, a worth a visit if you're in like the Bonnie Lake Tacoma um, area yeah super fun so uh, thanks for tuning into this one don't forget the most important trail of the day is the next one and I can't wait to see you in the next video bye everyone oh and if there's a trail system you want me to go out to that's kind of within my area uh let me know and i i'll try and get out there on uh my next days off and stuff so uh thanks everyone all right bye